in today's video, I want to talk about what I mean by the term movement education. So we're not going to be talking about posture, and it's definitely not a political movement. We're talking about movements within the joints of the body and movements that will bring more dynamism and more awareness to the complexities of what it is to be a moving human being. So with movement education, I don't want to be talking about a fixed view of how muscles and how skeleton re relate to each other. What I want to present is a dynamic system that helps us grow our awareness of movement possibilities. And the way I want to do this is through the video tutorials. And as I said in the very first introduction video, the way that we can create an exchange with each other, whether it's through comments or any other form of communication, it will make the work more interesting for all of us. So the thing that I will be doing is I will be presenting a, a steps to learn to speak a common language together so that we can bring about this exercise this set of uh, controlled experiments, we can call them, that help to bring more length and width between the bones of the torso. So the reason we want to do this is to reduce the degenerative effect of day-to-day uh, -day living activities over time. So the way I like to think of it is that as a musician, I'm not going to be leaving a, a big bank account for my children, but what I would like to give them is their freedom in their later years as I go towards my very, 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 very later years. So when I'm going through my 90s, if I'm lucky enough to get there or maybe passing uh, through my 90s, if that is what might happen, uh, I don't have complete control over that, obviously. Um, I want to, as much as I, I can manage it, I want to be in a position to uh, be as independent and as, how do we say, as, um, uh, as mobile and as healthy as possible. And uh, we can control <laughs> these series of events that are combined and called life. But there is a part of it that I can uh, control, and that's how I do my day-to-day -day movements. And I want to uh, sort of give that as a gift to my um, children, and hopefully that when they're in their 60s and uh, I'm in my 90s, they're enjoying themselves. They're not worried about um, poor old mama, and she needs this and that and that and that. Uh, the parts of it that I can manage. Uh, I like to be able to set up myself and my children uh, for that gift of, um, how do I say it? I don't want people to worry about me when I'm about to die. I want to, um, how do I say it? Die with as much dignity as possible. Of course, that's everyone's wish, and I'm lucky enough to be able to pursue that wish, and I think it's an important wish, and it's an important goal to have. So uh, thanks again for watching and I will see you in the next set of videos.